A free new chapter of Poly Art Puzzle Game Moss first became available to players who own the Oculus Rift. Now, the studio has announced that the free VR missions will also be heading to the other platforms, PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, HTC Viva, and Windows MR. The Twilight Garden has rolled out on the mentioned platforms as of July 25th, and the game itself is available through Steam and stores of Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. The city of Final Fantasy NT is adding a new character, and it is a Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII. This was announced by Square Enix during one of its recent live streams, and Tifa is the latest Final Fantasy VII, and also joining Cloud and Sephiroth. She will be a speed type character in the game. Tifa will be available in the city of Final Fantasy NT starting July 3rd in Japan, and a worldwide release has not been mentioned at this time. Fortnite's latest content update, version 9.30, brings back a fan-favorite weapon from the vault, the Pump Shotgun. The Pump Shotgun became a favorite weapon as it allowed players to eliminate all opponents in just one shot, and it is a shotgun with slow firing damage. It was removed at the beginning of Fortnite Season 9, but Epic decided to bring it back because players were unhappy with the tactical shotgun and the combat shotgun. Epic added that they wanted to see the game fairs with all three weapons available. If you're up for some creature collecting, Dumpty might just be the game for you. This early access creature collecting MMO is created by Krima and started with Kickstarter campaign, and the game has since gathered more than enough backers and now pre-orders are available for a limited time through the Tim Tim Discord server. And the game works similarly with Pokemon as players collect Tim Tim, train them, and battle other tamers around the world. Bethesda has rolled out patch 10.5 for Fallout 7 to 6, and the patch is 1 gig in size. Update 10.5 comes with fixes and exploits such as duplicating items in player vending machines, as well as an exploit where players disable grasses and shrubs during matches in Nuclear Winter. The patch also adds a more info button for the Nuclear Winter perk card menu, allowing players to reopen the per card tutorial, and full patch notes are available at the game's website.
challenging kitchen puzzle game Automa Chef has now a release date and the game will be available starting July 23rd and will be available on PC through Steam and on Nintendo Switch. The game also currently has a free demo on Steam which gives players access to two tutorial levels and three campaign levels. It will let players solve increasingly challenging puzzles in kitchen where players will face challenges on energy and ingredient consumption, infestations in fire among others. The heat of the summer is just starting and it's about to get hot there as Steam's 2019 summer sale is here. The sale runs from now until July 9th and offers discounts on practically everything in the Steam store. Also running during the sale is the Steam Grand Prix which will give players a chance to win free games by teaming up with friends and completing daily tasks as well as buying selected titles during the sale. Toy Story is invading Minecraft, and the game has a new mashup pack called the Toy Story Mashup Pack, which adds character skin from the Pixar's animated franchise. The skin includes Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and Boo Peep, as well as Jeff Kaboom, which was voiced by Keanu Reeves, among others. There are also new locations such as Andy's bedroom, said horrific bedroom, all scaled down as seen from the toy's perspective. Close to the sun, the first person horror game inspired by Nikola Tesla is heading to the Nintendo Switch, and a specific release date has not been announced yet. But the Wired production in Storm in a teacup announced that it will be a coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019. The devs and publisher are proud to announce that players can now bring the breathtaking and unforgettable horror game on the go for the first time and close to the sun previously released for Xbox One and PS4. Monster Jam Steel Titans are available now on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The game is the first Monster Jam video game from developer Rainbow Studios, and Monster Jam Steel Titans comes with everything from Monster Jam including tracks, stadiums, athletes, and stunts. The game is being published by THQ Nordic and Field Entertainment.
Wii, the Revolution Force release on PC, and now players in consoles will be also able to experience the anti hit. The game is now available on the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. We the Revolution is set during the French Revolution and features famous historical figures during the time. Players will also take the role of a judge of the Revolutionary Tribunal facing a game politics, passing sentences, and basically experience the dark and the oppressive days of the French Revolution. Our feature deal for today is a strategy real-time tactics game from Mimi Mi production called Shadow Tactics Blade of Shogun. And you can get the best price for the game with us now for 4 euro as compared to Steam that's 39 euro and 99 cents. You will save up to 90% on your city key purchase if you get this game today through our trusted stores. And to check out more of our deals, just tap exclamation mark deal in our stream chat now. Go to allkeyshop.com to compare city key prices and get the best deal for your money. Riot Games has officially released Team Fight Tactics in Open Beta. For those who don't already know, Team Fight Tactics is a mixture of card strategy and turn based gaming. It is a reminiscent of Valve's Auto Trust game. Dota Under Lords, it is worth noting that the missions and client hubs will only be enabled in sub regions a week after the launch date. You can learn more about Team Fight Tactics or download the game on the League of Legends official website. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is set to receive a new update. This news came via tweet published by the official PUBG support team. The patch introduces a new console patch that introduces a new progression system called Weapon Mastery, an auto-equip attachments feature, an additional controller preset, and more. Players can expect the patch to be live on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One the 27th of this month. You can visit the game's official website to view the full patch notes. Koji Igarashi's recently released the highly anticipated Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Unfortunately, the game isn't without issues as indicated by many reports submitted by Nintendo Switch players in particular. Apparently, Switch players are experiencing a host of performance issues ranging from largely inconsistent frame rate to unstable gameplay. In co consequently, the publisher 505 Games has announced that they are having resources shifted towards addressing these issues.
BioWare has released a new update for the PT is an Anthem on the PC. The update features a host of fixes and changes that have taken shape as a result of player feedback. The patch also includes a limited version of the seasonal store and updates to Vara gameplay, VFX, and cinematics. In addition, the limited seasonal store enables players to speed crystals acquired through playing the Cataclysm and other events on seasonal rewards. You can visit Anthem's official website for further details. Bandai Namco has announced that a One Punch Man game is in the works. This is incredible news for enthusiasts of the hit anime series and they will soon be able to play as Santana among other members of the eccentric anime cast. According to the developer, it will be an action fighting game named One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows and it will be available for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. The 3 on 3 brawler is yet to receive an official release date or estimate window. Square Enix has finally removed a music bug that has been the source of discomfort for years in Final Fantasy IX. This fix came as part of the rather spontaneous update for the PS4 re-release of Final Fantasy IX. The bug is question caused each track to loop back to the start whenever leaving a battle. This is would have been fine had the frequency of fights been far between but the contrary is true. Unfortunately, the fix is only applied to the PS4 edition for now. Capcom has officially launched the Devil May Cry for Nintendo Switch. The developer had shared very few details about the game leading up to this point, which works out because now fans get to experience the game firsthand. Another thing worth noting is the arguably uh, hefty price tag at Hotch. The pricing is hard considering Capcom has been heavily criticized for the prices of other re releases and remakes. In any case, Switch players now have the opportunity to indulge in the Devil May Cry experience. Saber Interactive is elated to announce that its co-op shooter World War Z has sold 7,000 copies on Epic Game Store. Studio co-founder and CEO Matthew Karch expressed sincere gratitude to the storefront for making this incredible feat possible. He maintains the developer have always been confident that the game would amass a great following on PC. The unknown was how fast and how important of a role Epic's platform will play in achieving it. Questions which we now have answers.
Sad Square Studio has announced that the second and final part of Visage is scheduled for release on July 3, 2019. According to the developer, Visage is a psychological horror game heavily inspired by Konami's cancelled Silent Hills. The game, uh, the studio released a celebratory trailer to not only further introduce prospecting players to the game, but to also highlight that this is a valued milestone. Players can expect up to six hours of terrifying gameplay in this new chapter. Novorama sci-fi action role-playing game Kill Squad will be launched on Steam Early Access next month. It is an interesting action-packed top-down game that many critics have likened to Jablo's isometric view. In the game, players get to form passes with be best mates and do missions, assume the role of psychotic bounty hunters on the constant hand for bigger and better weapons and other equipment. Early Access will commence for PC through Steam on July 16. Microsoft is reluctant to about age of mythology, though speculations have suggested otherwise. This confirmation via word of AOE creative director Adam is green, who assures concerned players that development with age of mythology will resume once the definitive editions for age of empires are complete. For now, a patch for age of mythology extended edition will have to suffice. It might not have been the desired response, but the confirmation is positive nonetheless. Our feature deal for today is a role-playing general game from Exile Entertainment called The Bard's Tale for Barrows Deep. You can get the best price for the game with us now for €60.50 as compared to €34.99 on Steam. You will save 81% on your CDK purchase if you get this game today through our trusted stores. To check out more of our deals, just type exclamation mark deal in the stream chat now. Go to allkship.com to compare CDK prices and get the best deals for your money.